Alright, welcome back. Where we left you off, I had hypothesized installing an SSD in here, <clears throat> and uh, got the system running off of what you see now. For those of you that are just tuning in, this is an Asus A8N SLI Deluxe with an Athlon 64X2 4200plus CPU. Just some random, I think that's a 7300 GT silent video card. 4 gigs of RAM after the original high density sticks failed. Well, one of them is dead. And uh, what I've done now is I have installed an SSD. Unfortunately, I have mounting brackets, but they will not work for this case, which is too bad. So I just mounted the drive straight to the straight to the tray. No big deal. No point in wasting a mounting bracket when it's not even really going to be any useful anyway. So I got my Windows 7 USB stick. And we're going to do an install and just see how it performs on this hardware. Still need to get the standoffs, so I will do that hopefully tomorrow as long as I remember. And uh, once I do, I may also get a fan for that chipset because I think that chipset's going to overheat if I don't have a fan on it. Either way, once I do that, I can install one of the bigger video cards and we'll see how it performs in comparison. But uh, let's get started here. Lift up the front panel and hit the power switch. Let's see if it still works. Sorry, F8 is the key that I want, not F12. I'm going to turn the video light off here. Oh, that's weird. The fan is running, and yet it's reporting a CPU fan failure. So I wonder what the deal is. Let's go ahead and have a look. Huh. Interesting. Where is the APM? Yeah, it's running fine. I don't know what the deal is. Anyway, let's try again. Okay, well, it didn't complain that time, so hopefully it's not going to complain about that every time it starts up. Otherwise, I'm just going to turn off that fan warning. USB flash. Is it going to work? Here we go. So I'll let that load, and we'll see how Windows performs. Okay, we're at the desktop. Just activated. Windows activation always makes my adrenaline go off, because it always makes you wonder if it's actually going to work. But, uh, so here we go. So the specs, which this camera will not focus on, because it sucks. We'll go ahead and we'll run our Windows Experience Index benchmarks right out of the box. So here are our scores. Not too shabby. Not really that great. It's a fairly low base score, but that's because the graphics are not very good, which isn't much of a surprise. Apparently that SSD is rather slow, although I don't think it's the SSD so much as it is the old slow 1. SATA 1.5 on this motherboard. Let's see if I can find a PCI card that will give me, say, to three. I don't know if those exist. I know I've got some RAID cards. I don't want to waste a RAID card on this, though, especially since I'm not even going to be using the RAID. So, and I have other uses for those RAID cards, but now we want to install updates. Also, the interesting thing that I noticed is that I couldn't get an internet connection when I had an Ethernet cable plugged into the second Ethernet port. But it worked fine on the first one, so that's kind of interesting. Although, actually, it's backwards on the board, if you can have a look here. The first one is on the left, sorry, the right, which is kind of odd. I don't know why they did it that way, but uh, now i got to run all these updates, make sure all the drivers are installed, you know, all the usual things. And then, when we come back to this, probably in my next video, we will go ahead and 
put the standoffs in and put in one of the beefier video cards and see what kind of performance we can get out of it. But until then, this is CP666 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the video.